Well, hello everybody, it's Ian Marshall. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about something that nobody really wants to talk about, but it has probably affected either you or somebody that you know, considering that it is probably the bane of every teenager's existence on this planet. So if acne has affected your life one way or another, this is gonna be a great video for you. But if you are one of those queens who's never had a damn pimple in her life, then go ahead and click that X right now and get yourself out of this video. But don't forget to subscribe before you go because I post new videos every single week. But if you'd like to stick around and see how I finally got rid of the acne that was literally ruining my life, then keep watching this video. Now to give you a little backstory on my journey with acne, pretty much as far back as I can remember, I can remember dealing with pimples and blemishes, but around the time of puberty was when it really started to get super, super bad. And this was probably around grade seven or eight, when I started to realize that there was a noticeable amount of pimples on my face. By the end of my high school career, not only was it on my face, it had started affecting my chest and my shoulders and my back. As a result of all this, it really started affecting my life in all kinds of different ways. I mean, obviously there was the physical pain, but there was also the confidence and the emotional side of things where I was embarrassed of the way that I looked. I didn't wanna be in pictures. And even though there were so many other people affected by this, I couldn't always help but think about how disgusting my face looked. So as you can imagine, I literally tried everything to get rid of this stubborn acne. I tried literally every topical treatment available. I tried the luxury brands. I tried the drugstore brands. I tried the natural stuff. I even bought products off of the television to try to get rid of it. But no matter what I did, I couldn't find anything that would help me. So eventually after becoming really discouraged with trying all of these different products, I ended up resulting to wearing makeup on a daily basis. Now this started with a little bit of powder and then kind of developed itself into a full face of makeup every single day and girl let me tell you I don't even know how I did that it used to take me two hours to get ready I wouldn't leave the house without a full face of foundation on and I realize now looking back that at the time, I just wanted to find anything that would help with the embarrassment of the acne on my face. But really, that was probably the worst thing I could have probably done. So eventually, after becoming really tired of doing this full regalia every single day, I decided to put a stop on the makeup and just be a natural girl instead of having to get dolled up every single day. So shortly after I stopped wearing a full face of makeup, I did start to see a very marginal improvement in my skin. And while that was a good thing, it still wasn't at a place that I was comfortable with and I still had the problem of the acne on my shoulders and on my chest and on my back. So this led me to getting in touch with my doctor who then referred me out to my first dermatologist that told me that my painful and embarrassing acne was not severe enough for any type of prescription medication. I won't bore you with that entire story, but after seeing several dermatologists, I was finally able to find somebody who was willing to work with me and my particular situation. In the meantime, I did lots of research. I was looking at all different types of options. And initially when I went in, I had asked for a product called Accutane which is probably something you've heard of before. And instead of prescribing Accutane, my dermatologist was able to prescribe me something different, a newer drug that had just come out on the market. It was a little bit better than Accutane in terms of side effects and dietary restrictions and etc. And so I started off with this drug called Epirus, and I noticed very quickly a very big improvement in my skin. Now a disclaimer for anyone watching this video, there are obviously all kinds of side effects that come along with most medications that control your acne so of course you should definitely do your research before you start taking any type of prescription medication talk to your pharmacist talk to your doctor about all the things that you may or may not be affected by but for me I understood the risks and I was willing to do pretty much anything to get rid of this painful and embarrassing problem that I had so I ended up using this particular drug for about a year and a half. I initially started on a low dosage and as the months progressed, my dosage was increased. I started noticing a very big improvement in my skin. It completely cleared my face and then slowly it also completely cleared my body of any and all acne. 
Now I'm finally off the prescription. I've been off of it for about a month now. And because obviously the pill is systemic, it affects every area of the body. I'm still experiencing dry skin. That was one of the biggest things that I had to deal with while I was on the medication. I had extremely dry skin, extremely dry lips. So that's definitely something you have to take in consideration. You have to monitor how dry your skin is. You also have to monitor your levels. You have to get blood work done. It is definitely a commitment, but for me anyway, the result was obviously something that I had been trying to achieve for such a long time. And I am so grateful that I found this particular medication and that I was able to find a dermatologist that was able to ultimately change my life. Not only from the pain point of view, but also from the psychological confidence point of view as well. So if you are somebody who is suffering with acne and you've tried everything that you can possibly think of, maybe you've even seen a dermatologist or two who has told you the same thing they did me, that your acne isn't severe enough for a prescription, or maybe you haven't ever seen a dermatologist before, but but obviously the moral of this story is to keep pushing through until you find a solution. There are so many different options on the market. Not everything works for everybody, but I wanted to share this with you in hopes that it could maybe help you like it helped me. Because trust me, I am so happy in my new skin, girl. I just, I just love it. I hope that this helps someone somewhere. If you did like this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button down below. I post new videos on this channel every single week. If you'd like to follow me off camera, you could do so on Twitter or Instagram. Both of those are just at Ian R. Marshall. And let us know in the comments down below if you have any suggestions or solutions for getting rid of acne. Maybe you've used a different product or a different drug that has helped you and cleared your skin. I would certainly love to hear about it. Anyway, again, I wanna thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week. Talk to you soon. Bye.